Mr. Farmer, how are you? What's up, bro? How are you, bro? What's it? What's it do? Chilling, chilling. So the comeback is real. I see you got two dates scheduled on Box Rec. Talk to us. So I got a date scheduled um September 29th. I also got a date. That's at, that's in Philly at the 2300 Arena. And I also got a date scheduled uh December 1st. So the one at the 2300 Arena, what promoter is that? Because that's a hometown fight. We know the last time you were in Philadelphia at the Leah Court Center, you filled that out. That was a yeah. great card. So I'm expecting the 2200 Arena to be sold out as well. Who's the promoter? Manny Rivera? No, it's not Manny. It's my boy, um, Ali, R&B Promotions. Is he, he a new promoter. He got like, he, is it, he like on the fifth or sixth show. So, R &B, you know, you know you that's R&B. R and B, R and B. Okay. You know that's my friend. So you know, you we. I, I see him. I see him trying trying to do great in the sport of boxing. So get to do what I do. I'm gonna I'm hop on this show. For sure. Now you've been on the comeback for a while, but you haven't had an actual fight penciled in. This is the first time you've had an actual. Well, let's say that again. You had two fights penciled in with Mickey Bay that never took place. Yeah. So I know that's been difficult. How sure are you this fight's gonna happen? I just, I just fought in June. What? I fought Avery Sparrow. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I do and remember Avery, that. And, and, and that Avery was Sparrow, Wasn't that on Manny's card? I do remember that because Leanna Cruz was on that card too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, Avery, yeah. and Avery Sparrow not a pushover for a comeback fight either. I want no, people to do that. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That, yeah, was a, so. that was a common opponent with Ryan Garcia. He was supposed to face Avery Sparrow. And then and, he never won. Avery Oh, he fight. And he fought Nova. He fought Nova too. Yep. Abraham Nova. He yep. fought Roley. And for William the fought William Foster. I think I think I think, I, Santos. I think I think he beat Nova though, to be honest. Or 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 draw the, at the minimum, but I don't think he lost Nova. Nova. So who's it gonna be this time? You got September 29th penciled in. Yeah. Um, some some Mexican kid named Oscar or something. I got I got I gotta get his name. We gonna put him out there probably like this week. Um, just a you know just a just, just a fight to keep me active, stay sharp. Um, but I don't take no fights light though. You know I, you know you gotta train hard and go crazy for all of them. Now your first fight back being Avery Spiral, that was a ten rounder and a high level name. Now you're going to an eight rounder. Why? Just to stay busy? Well. I was gonna do ten rounder, but uh, Greg served. Hey, he he didn't approve the person I'm gonna fight for a ten rounder. So, um, I just said, listen, let's do eight. I mean, as long as I've been there, staying busy, getting, staying sharp, and, and, and keep my timing right, I don't care to be honest. Now, I texted you about the opportunity that Schofield was offering. He was scheduled to fight a common opponent with of yours in JoJo Diaz. It's something that's been in the works for a while. JoJo's yeah. actually going to be on the undercard of that Schofield fight. And uh, Schofield is the, the co-main. But you said you don't even know who he Let is? No, nah, I didn't. I, did, I, I know his face. When you showed me his face, I, I I seen him around a few times. Not real familiar with him, but the name alone, no. So he signed the Golden Boy, and, you know, he's definitely one of their uh, top fighters that they're continuously keeping active and giving dates. And um, you know, they're looking. Let me ask you a question. So who, do, so who called? Who? Which one? Which one out of all of them called to fight me? Wanted to fight me? Well, it's only one. It's only it would. It was only Schofield. No, I'm saying, but who was it? His team was it him? Was it like who? Like who was yeah, it? Yeah, no, I just had him on the show. They was telling us uh how you know the fight that they had scheduled with JoJo isn't gonna happen because JoJo wanted to tune up. Linares wanted to tune up. So now they find themselves in a co-main event slot with no opponent. So they was throwing names out, and yours was one of the names. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, Bernard knows. I'm, listen, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna say it like this: When I fought JoJo, right? Don't, don't, don't let this shit get confused. That was a bad night, a, a dehydrated night, or just a fuck all around. If, you, if anybody that know me can see me in that fight, that I was fucked up. Don't let that shit confuse these. <laughs> Don't mess, don't get that, don't, I, I, I seen him fight probably like, I've seen highlights on Instagram a little bit, but don't mess that boy career up like that. Trust me. I mean, his date is for the 21st. They seem to believe they could get it done. 
again, I didn't know that you would take it because I didn't realize, and I watched your fight because I watched the Leanna Cruz fight. I didn't realize, though, that you came back with Avery Spiral. I mean, being as that you came back with Avery Spiral, I mean, fighting Ken Schofield is not a difference. Like, he's just an Bro, undefeated prospect. Listen, I'm going I'm to I'm tell you like this. They... I just think that I just think that it's taught right now. They're not gonna take me, bro. I can promise you, it it it, it wouldn't be fair, bro. They are gonna mess that boy career up early. Well, he's highly ranked, champ. Like literally. But uh, I'm saying rank, rank, uh, rankings don't mean nothing, though. That that don't mean nothing. You 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 can pay to get ranked, and I'm not knocking him. Like I I I, I heard a lot about him. Um, I seen his face. I said, oh, I know who exactly is. But when you text me, it ain't ring. It ain't ring bells right away. But. Once I see his face, I'm like, oh, okay, I see them around. Like I said, rankings don't mean nothing, man. They they better move that boy career because he 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 can fight. Move from right righteously. But mm. fucking with me, fucking with me is gonna be uh, fucking with me is, is gonna be dangerous, bro. I hear you, and you know I believe you. You're a former world champion. Any prospect that hasn't been on that level should definitely take heed. But this kid. He's explosive. He's like a tank. I mean, you gotta watch him fight. He 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 switches. I, I like him. And he and, and a lot like of his it. shots are all power shots. You know. Um, I would yeah, like I know. He was a jab though. Bro, it's 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 like it's like when Eric Erickson Lubin stepped up before Charlo, bro. So he's ranked number five, and this is how it's going to work. Just so you know how important this fight could be for you, Vasil is. I'm Vasil, just what let I text me explain. You. Just let me explain. Vasil's retired. Frank Martin received an offer from Shakur for the WBC vacant belt. William yeah. Cepeda, number two, as you can see, he's already in a fight with Mercito Gesta. Tank is your regular champ. If Devin truly vacates, Tank becomes super. Isaac already loses to Tank because he's fighting the rematch. William Cepeda... Um, J J uh, William Cepeda Mercito guess the winner would be the number one and, and they would have to fight Schofield. So that's what okay. I'm saying. If you beat Schofield, Cepeda got to fight you for that belt. So the regular you, belt. Even, even if you didn't show me this, that I, 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 I told you, I told you in text message, I take the fight. I take it anyway. Cause either way I take it at 135, but I'm going down to, I'm going down to 30. I don't know if we keep oh, that on my post. down. I'm going down to 30, but I will fight him at 35. That's the thing. So nah, none of that I mean, mean if anything. If you're going down, you're going down. So who you? No, who but you I would. I, in 30? But look though, I st I stopped by 135 before I go down. I fought Avery at 36, 37, 36. I stop I stop by 135 and then finish my, my my way down to 30 if that's what they really want to do. Um, but it ain't gonna be no dictatorship over here. They ain't gonna dictate what's gonna go down if, if they want to fight me on the late notice. So, it won't be late though, champ. It, October twenty first, you got like yeah, but I got a, I got a date. I got a date September 29th, too. I mean, this would be a bigger fight with more money. Yeah, but I, yeah, but, but w one thing for sure too is certain, bro. I'm a man of my word, and, and if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I'm fighting September twenty sure. ninth. I'm I, I'm not I'm not skipping out on nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm hold myself to. I'm gonna be obligated. And my contract ain't even signed with them yet. But that's just who I am as a man, and that's what that's what I told her I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna skip out on it. You know what I'm saying? If if if, if they wanna wait, then they can wait. If not, then move on. But I'll fight 29th and then come back and fight 21st. It ain't no big deal. I fought five times in one year as a champion. So you know that little ass shit ain't nothing. What's more realistic to you at 30? Which I want to become a two-time world champion at 30. I want to leave on top of 130. But who? What champion is more realistic for you? What, what, wherever I rank at after these two fights I got at um, the end of this year, wherever I'm the highest at in the body sanctions. Because hmm. it's not going to take much for me to be to, to, to fight for a championship, but I, I'm already established. Yeah. So I just got to go in there and see, and see which one of the – right now it looks like WBC or the IBF is going to be one of them probably. So we don't know. We're going to see. But um, that's my goal, to become world champion at 130, and then I move up to 135. I'm 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 interested. What's motivating you to go all the way back down to thirty? If you said that you was possibly weight draining the JoJo Diaz fight. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even weight draining. It, it, it's the way me and my team was cutting weight. We was doing it totally wrong. 
It's not that I couldn't make 130. Like, we were just doing it wrong. It, it was it, it's, way, it's ways to make weight. And we was way far behind on it. We was fucked up on it. We was fucked up. But you live, you learn. And I think if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have had it correct to this day. So, I mean, now I, I, get down there, I get down there. I was getting down easy, but I was just doing it wrong. I was just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And you got to actually know to know. I, I, I'm, I'm still shocked you're going back down to 30, champ. With all that money at 35, I mean, Tank is there, Shakur is there, Devin still got three boats there, Frank Martin's there, Isaac Cruz is there. I mean, it's just, this way more I get names. it, but, hey, I get it, but I, I'm not I'm not letting them dictate what I, what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 do what I do. And I, you got to understand, I've been I've been in the game before these dudes was even people, some, some, somebody. And I couldn't even get the fights made when I wanted to. So I'm I'm going to do shit on my terms, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, even back then, I was trying to get these fights. You know I was. The most active world champion. Even more active than Canelo at the time. We can't we can't forget. Um, So this shit wasn't happening. So we're going to do things the way I want to do them. And I'm going to become a champion at 130. And then I'm going to move up. And then, then, then we get the smoke. For sure, for sure. Uh, I got a question here from the people. James Benitez in Alabama says, Tevin, if you ain't stopping at 30 to fight Gary Russell or something, you better fight Kid Austin and get in line for tank fight. Philly versus Listen, Baltimore is a big fight. I'm not, I respect him, bro. And I respect the fans, but the fans just talk, bro. You're breaking up, champ. He got a call. Damn. Uh, he got a call. All right. Oh, shit. Did he just come back there? All right. Well, I'm sure he'll call back. Treese, I think you got a counterpunch. I'm going to just wait in case he's calling back in. If you haven't already smashed that thumbs up, go ahead and do so. Here we go. You must Yo, can call, you hear me? Right? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Sometimes it can. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got a call, bro. You was in but the back to the uh, yeah, back with the guy was saying um, for getting, I'm not getting the line for nobody, bro. I'm gonna make my way there. I'm not getting the line for shit. I'll be, I'm gonna bet at one thirty way quicker than become a mandatory, bro. Cause at the end of the day, fuck all the getting the line for Tank. Man, I was the top dog at one thirty. With Tank was the top dog, and the fight still didn't get me. I ain't. I, I'm. I'm gonna do things my way, bro. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I'm not. I don't know if you know, but Ella B recently came out and said he made you a seven bro, offer. Bro, two bro, million. bro, 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 making an offer on on Twitter and saying something versus putting it on paper, bro, it's not the same, bro. We know they ain't the same. Right, Come I on, mean, bro. We, I needed you to distinguish that it was on, that it was only Twitter. You know, bro, is Leonard Ella bro. B? I, I would assume if he says that, he sent you at least a term sheet. Bro. Nigga, I was with Eddie at the time. Eddie offered Tank five million, and that, that's before Tank wasn't even making that. Yeah, but Eddie offered him five million to go on the zone. At that time, you know, it was a a battle of like getting the big fights on each platform. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I mean, it is what it is. I get it. But at the end of the day, I ain't get I ain't get nothing in paper ever in my life. Come on, bro. You know they they was avoiding me the whole time, bro. That's not. That's, you know that, bro. You think that fight still happens? Yeah, it still happens. Cause I'm becoming a champion, bro. I'm 33 years young, bro. I had a small image career. I, I ain't got them dudes. Even though they a little younger than me, they got they got more wear and tear than anybody than I do. They have 100, 200 image fights. I ain't have all that shit. I'm still young. I'm still out running young boy. I'm still beating young boys up <laughs> every day. I hear you, man. Um. Have you seen the news, the WBC, Frank Martin, and Shakur Stevenson's? What's your thoughts on that fight? <laughs> Honestly? Honestly, of course. I think I think I think Shakur's I think Shakur beats him easy. Have I think Shakur beats him easy. Have you seen the whole back and forth with Shakur and Haney? And what's your thoughts on that potential fight if it ever happens? I think that's a good fight. I think I think it's a fifty fifty fight, and I think it could be a sixty forty fight, um, for either one, depending on who come more prepared and who come more focused that day. 
that's just what I think. I think it's a 50-50 fight. They both got skills in their own way. Um, Shakur, so his skills are a little different than Devin Haney, so his skills, right? And I just think it's a 50-50 fight. It could, it could be a 60-40. Like I said, depending on um, who coming more focused that night. And you will never know if it's 60-40 until that night. So, or 50-50. I don't know. It's a, it's a good fight. But I definitely think that Shakur um, beats Martin easy. I think Devin Haney and Shakur, um, hell of a fight. Yeah. Well, champ, those are all my questions, man. I want to thank you, obviously, for the spontaneous interview and for the update. We know now the champ is back. The uh, the Absolutely. objective is one thirty. See, I didn't know that. I don't think a yeah. lot of people knew that, especially yeah. With all, with Look, all that action I just, I, at thirty five, uh, I think nobody. I put it on. I put it. On, I put. I put it on my tweet. I put. I tweeted it. I put it. Mm. I, I just. I just posted it on tw Twitter and I posted it on Instagram. And I basically, actually, you know what I said? I said, "Look, I said my, I said I got a fight day coming up. I got a fight day in December. I said my goal is one thirty, but I stop at a catch weight on my way down to get Isaac Cruz. I That's like what I that said. Isaac Cruz fight. What you see about Isaac Cruz? Was it was it the last fight that let you see some some loopholes, or you've been seeing it? Style. He all that hype shit he do. That shit ain't gonna work. I mean, that shit ain't gonna work when you when you fuck with a nigga with like me with legs and the jab and all that. That shit ain't gonna work. Which is a great say. I mean, you know, he do got them front and back hooks. You still young though, thirty three. Bro, still bro, super bro, young. bro, bro, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. You know damn well I ain't get hit with that, bro. I mean, and even if I do get hit with Tom it, who, Tevin Farmer has bro won't get hit with I, that. HBO I think you, hey bro, Palmer, but like we gotta see you back, bro. You I think, hey, 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 bro, I think you need to come see me, bro. <laughs> I would love to because I feel like you know, yeah, we remember how good you were, but we gotta see are you still that good? I mean, you took three hey, bro. years off. Was it three years or not? Hey, um, three and a half. Look at that. Come on, champ. Not everybody. Did you watch? Hold on, hold on. But did you? That did, easy. Did, did, did you? Did you watch the Avery fight, bro? I did. I told you I did. It's still did you, Avery did you, is did, still familiar did, to you. You've sparred her. No, you know I never sparred Avery. I never sparred Avery you in my never life. Spar Avery Sparrow. I ne I never sparred Avery. Man, Avery never sparred. We never That's even crazy. trained the same gym. We never trained the same gym. That's crazy. Y'all been in and around the same way y'all whole career. He from Philadelphia. Yeah, bro. But you gotta understand, I moved out of Philadelphia in 2013. Yeah, but you were still training in Cherry Hill. That's right there. No, yeah, no, Cherry Hill in, in Philly and Cherry Hill is not the same. It's close, it but it's not the same. I know it ain't the same. No, I said bro, it's bro. right there, though. It's right no, there. Bro, listen, bro. No, no, I just started training in Cherry Hill. I wasn't training in Cherry Hill when I first moved to Jersey. I was training up in um in um Berlin, in Sickleville. I was way up. Mm. I just recently got to Cherry Hill like a few years ago. A few years, like seven ago. No, bro. Seven years ago. What year are we in right now? We in 23, champ. We talking about like 2017, 2016. Bro, I got the, I got the, uh, I got the, um. I'm about to Google I it got right the, now because I, I got videos I got when the I Cheer went Hill. to see you at that gym. I got the Cheer Hill like in 2018, probably something like that. I'm about to check when I went to see you in that gym, in the UFC gym. Yeah, bro. But man, Avery never, we never, bro. Philly, I, I never even, I never really ever got work from Philly fighters. When I uh, once I got the jersey, I I I, I used to get all my work from New Yorkers, from the New Yorkers, New Jersey kid. No, I I, I sparred Lundy back in 2012. Now no, at least you sparred him though. At least you sparred him. See, I just yeah, automatically I figured, damn, Avery Spyro, like again, he been in your weight class for so long. No, see, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the difference, bro. This is a difference, bro. And I'm gonna tell you why a lot of fighters from Philly don't make it, even though we we like one of the best fighting cities in the world. You wanna know why? Wow. Because of hard fucking sparring every day, all day. You want to know why I made it? Because I got the fuck up out of there. You want to know why Denny Garcia made it? Because Denny got the fuck up out of there. His dad protected him. And we ain't doing that hard sparring every day. That shit kill you. And, and, and you don't grow. And you don't ever become champion. Everybody that became champion. Why, just look, bro. They're protected in some way. We, we ain't sparring that hard shit all the time. That shit, that shit for the birds. Now, I remember Danny, uh, his father specifically told me that you got to be careful who you bring in the camp because everybody's trying to make a name off the champ. I sparred Danny Garcia more than I sparred any of them. I actually got Danny Garcia ready for Zab Judah. 
Yeah, champ. I'm looking at I'm looking at a video from June 19th, 2017. I did with you in the UFC gym in Cherry Hill. Yeah, I I, I, I might have been there at that time. <laughs> but you gotta understand. I I've been there. Look at the interview. I see I see like 2018, 17, a year difference. But you gotta think about it. That wasn't my home base gym at the time. That wasn't my home base gym. When I first came to Jersey, I came to Jersey in 2000, the end of 2012, beginning of 13. That's like four years later. Was this you gotta understand. Huh? You yeah, know, no. I, I see one that I did with you way back in 2016, but I don't know. Was that for the Red Cats press conference? Me, yeah, me, but making a long story short, man, me, me, Philly, Philly, my camp don't really spar a lot of Philly guys. We we more of North Jersey and in, in, in New York. So who's your trainer now? Tino. Oh, you okay? I mean, I don't know. Three years off, I don't know. Gotta ask. No. No, 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 yeah, yeah, Tino, no. I, bro, I, see, this is the thing. People take time off, right? And time off is not always for the worst, bro. Sometimes it's for the, for the best. I was cutting weight fucking every other month, bro, for, for like years straight, fighting back to back. And you got to understand, how you live your life outside of the gym determine, determine how, you, how you react and, and how you perform when you be, get back, how you live your life outside of the gym. I haven't took a break from the gym. I've been in the gym. I swear I'm in better shape than all of them fighters today. You know what I'm saying? How you live your life determine on how you're going to come back and, and look. Your timing, yeah, timing can be off, though, a little bit, because only time you can really get that real time is doing a real fight. But but the skills, the, 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 the IQ, the sharpness and all that, that shit, that, that should stay there if you live your life right. I definitely agree, champ. I definitely agree. I'm I'm locked in. I want to see the comeback story and and see you fulfill that. You know, become a two time champ. Not a lot of people can do that. And uh, yeah. you know, we 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 tuned in. So uh, please give out your I, social media for anybody that isn't following who can do so. And, well, uh, social media, Tevin Farmer twenty two. That's on um. That's on um, Instagram and is on Twitter. Seven former twenty two, and then September 29th, I'm fighting. It's gonna be streamed live too. Uh, that's it's gonna be streamed live. Um, okay. on fight fight combat sports. Um, now, so fight. I think it's fight combat sports now. Something like that. Yeah, the link is in my bio. So if y'all follow me and click the link, and they can tune in and watch me go to fuck the work. And like I said, this. Be with me on this journey to two time. I'm telling you, it's gonna be crazy. For sure. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Former world champion, Tevin Peace. Farmer. We appreciate him coming on the show. What up, YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And Obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.